have you ever had the desire to play an instrument or play the guitar like the great Jimi Hendrix or just something to play around friends? The reasoning behind my project was that same desire to be able to play something that others may enjoy. Ever since I was little, I could remember that I always wanted to play the guitar, be one of the greats that could play something others would just think is absolutely incredible. But every time I played, I would end up giving up after a couple weeks or a month because I would find some excuse to give up. Most of my excuses were when I was young, so I couldn't fit my fingers in the right spots, or I couldn't, you know, understand the rhythm of the guitar. But I used senior seminar because I saw that as an opportunity to finally give me a reason to stay motivated and actually like make me play. And this gave me a deadline that I had to learn something by. So it gave me a schedule that I had to follow and keep up with. So I couldn't just slack the whole time and then pull in by the end. At first, I was very excited to learn all the songs. I had so many ideas for songs. Most of them were just like classic rock songs my dad would play in the car. And it was just all like old songs I used to remember from when I was a kid. And then I found out very soon that uh, it's, the songs that I thought were cool and it would be easy were a lot more difficult than they were going to be. And very quickly, I found a, a large struggle with learning and understanding this. And I saw that I was becoming very slow with my learning. But I still went on. I wanted to start off with learning the basic chords. So like C, E, G, D, stuff like that. And so I spent a couple hours on that the first day. I spent like three hours just trying to practice it and understand, like memorize where my fingers needed to be. And then the next day I went back at it and I practiced strumming patterns because I had a little knowledge from ukulele I played where I just had some songs that just had a repetitive thing going through it. And I looked up some other songs that have simple ones to find. And then I was looking for songs that had the similar chords that I've learned, so like C, E, G, and D. I found The Joker by Dave Matthews Band, and it was the first song I tried to learn, and it was, it was one song that I liked because it had many levels to learn it. I could learn just the basic strumming, I could learn a little bit of riffs into it and mix it in and make it sound a little more mastered and fluctuated than just the basic song. So that was really nice to learn, but it was, it was difficult for me after learning the basic strumming pattern and chord movement to get the technical side down because it wasn't just strumming it. I had to pick certain strings at different times and solo those out to make it sound nicer. But it was pretty nice. And then after learning that on chords, I wanted to try riffs because I thought maybe that'd be nicer to learn instead of just chords. But I went to riffs and I started with Seven Nation Army because I knew that one was a very simple song that only had a few verses. And I got that one down pretty quickly. And then I went over to Sweet Child of Mine, which was a song that I like really wanted to learn. That was like the big song I wanted to learn for this project. And that one took me a lot longer than the other songs did. That one took me about a month to figure out because I just couldn't understand it. I ended up recording the clip for it the last night because it was so difficult that I could not get a good video of me playing it until like that night. But it was good and I was very happy by how I played it and how it sounded. Uh, yeah. It, once I started getting the song down, I started realizing I made progress from where I originally started because when I originally started, I couldn't even like hit the right strings with my pick. I would always miss it and hit the wrong places. So once I noticed that I started getting it down and understanding it, it became, it was such a great feeling. It made all the struggling, like all the pain going through it just worth it. It was a, a static feeling. Even though no one else around me would have noticed the slight difference of change that I noticed, it was still a great feeling that I wanted to show other people. Uh, a great quote from an article, Beyond Blue, that I found is, ask anyone who plays an instrument and they'll tell you that progress only comes from practice. But they'll probably also talk about the fulfillment that comes with playing a piece of music that previously seemed impossible. Although I did learn a few songs and riffs, I did find that learning guitar was far harder than I initially thought it was going to be. There was much more practice and dedication than I initially thought. Once I started to realize how slow progression actually was, I realized it was going to take a lot more time and effort than I originally anticipated for. I couldn't just sit down and 
sit down for two hours and give it all my attention to actually understand what I was doing. But that kind of made it hard to fit in a busy schedule. And then I also found with online school a difficulty staying motivated because once again, playing guitar was just in the same place I've been all week long is in my room next to my bed, just doing it with no like movement. So it was, it was like hard finding motivation and reasoning to stay with it. Uh, but for my research, I was looking to demonstrate how music and playing an instrument could affect a student's mental stability and then also like their moods and stuff. And I went to, I went in with some basic knowledge that listening to music could affect, we found out that there's, Learning an instrument can do way more for a person than just listening to it because when you're playing it, there's so many fibers and neurons going off in your brain that's just like so much for your brain to learn and it causes for children uh, is improvements in their main developmental areas, especially their auditory and their motor skills. So for younger kids, even like our age, we count as younger kids for this type of study. So our brains still aren't fully developed. If we learn an instrument at this age is great for us because it gives us many more skills and ways to do things than we initially had before. And gives us way more ways to deal with stuff. But I also found that not only does it affect the chemistry in your brain, but it can also affect the actual like physical development of it. And it said that on research with young children, it was found that their cerebral cortex was uh, thickening faster than the other children's were because they were playing an instrument. So that was there. And then many kids also find learning an instrument to be rewarding and enjoyable. In turn, they become more confident in expressing their emotions. Learning an instrument can do more for children than just how to play. It can teach them patience and perseverance. It also gives them a fun hobby they can use as a stress reliever. And while interviewing a paraprofessional who works in the middle school with a student with autism, she spoke of how accomplished her student felt after learning to play a song on the keyboard. Our first attempt was to try to teach him how to play guitar. I printed out guitar chords and taught the paraprofessional how to demonstrate it to him. The guitar became too difficult for him to play with his lack of fine motor skills, so he decided to switch to a color-coded keyboard so he could understand it more. And he learned to he learned how to play happy birthday initially very quickly uh because he has he found out that he has a very unique skill he has i think it's called pitch perfect or perfect pitch where you can hear the song that's playing and then line it up with a note on the keyboard and play it right after hearing it and it would take him about five minutes to find or two minutes to find each note he needed to find for the song so it was very cool and he wasn't someone that would stick to something for very long but the enjoyment he got out of playing it was so much that he stayed it for about an hour to two hours at a time. By the end of this project, I could clearly see the effects that learning an instrument can have on a person. Even if I couldn't see all the effects on my brain, I still felt that moment of joy and happiness when I finally started to see my growth and skill. That feeling really made all the hours of attempting and failing worth it because now you see that you can do more than you originally thought you could. Even though no one else was impressed by what I put, it still felt so good playing something I once thought it was impossible to learn. I finally had something to prove that all those hours were for nothing. And after just thinking how learning guitar helped Helped me and affected me. I hope someone who hears this challenges themselves to learn how to play an instrument because it may just be one of the best things you try. And then I have, I'm not sure if it would play through my Chromebook, but I have a clip or two to play. But I was a struggle with this. Yeah. 
Yeah. But as you can see, it was still a little choppy because I still found that song uh, difficult to learn because it was fast paced and a lot of moving components. But yeah. All right. Thank you so much, John. Does anyone have any questions for John about his project this afternoon? What song were you most excited to learn? Really? 